is CBS News Miami. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Naja Sherman and welcome to CBS News Miami's 4 p.m. Quick Cast. Let's take a look at today's top stories. We begin with new developments on a story that we first brought you as breaking news. One man was killed. Two other people were hurt after a shooting at a Walmart in Florida City. CBS News Miami's Peter Dinch has the very latest. Three people have now been charged in the shooting at the Walmart store here in Florida City that took the life of 23 year old Nathaniel Baez. The accused gunman is 25-year-old Steve Leston. He's charged with second-degree murder with a weapon and attempted felony murder. Miami-Dade police say he confessed and say two other people who were with him, Roberto Acevedo and Jamari Hodge, were charged with battery. Witnesses describe a chaotic scene. I already started running. I heard people yelling to everyone to get out of the store. Next thing I know, people were pushing me and I ended up out of the store. I mean, I thought I was going to die. The first shoot, boom. And I said, what's that? And it stopped and then boom, 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 boom. Now, we also spoke one on one with Hodge's mother, who will have that interview for you coming up starting at 5. In Florida City, Peter Danch, CBS News, Miami. Peter, thank you. A teen mom has posted bond to get out of jail. It's after allegedly plotting to have her three year old son killed. Police say she attempted to hire a hitman online. Here is video of 18 year old Jasmine Pace walking out of jail in West Miami Dade earlier today. Investigators say that the website that she went to was fake. The people who own the site alerted authorities. The toddler is safe. She is charged with soliciting first degree murder and a felony charge of unlawful use of a device. Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. And taking a live look outside at beautiful Miami, another very hot day across South Florida. Next Weather meteorologist Cindy Pressler is tracking what's ahead. And we've got a lot of dust that's going to start to come in. Already today, it's a little bit hazy out there. If you look downtown from a distance, you can start to see it. That is only going to thicken. Plus, our temperatures are going up. That heat advisory has now been extended through the weekend. So, yes, this is going to be a tough one this weekend. You're going to have to drink plenty of water. Stay inside by the air conditioning if you can. Winds will be shifting to the south-southwest, bringing in that dry dust. Any storms that do form will be favored over the interior and the Gulf Coast, not necessarily here. So this is going to be a very dry pattern now for the next few days and our temperatures will just go up now tomorrow Friday all time record high for Miami that was established back in 1942 100 degrees. We are not going to hit 100, but it is going to be hot 94 96 both Saturday and Sunday. There's your record setters right there and then next week that heat will continue at least into the first half of it. As a matter of fact, we are on pace right now to be setting very, very warm temperatures. This could be on pace to be one of the hottest years on record, if not the hottest years on record here in the Miami area. So far, 79.3 degrees is the average temperature, so we'll continue to track that and watch that for you. Showers and thunderstorms really not much out there today. Those winds out of the southeast right now trying to bring in a little bit of moisture. So a little spot shower here and there, maybe a sprinkle, and that's really going to be about it. Really not expecting anything today. Drier air coming in with that dust. As a matter of fact, that's what keeps those showers and thunderstorms down, allows the temperature to go up. So 92 degrees is what the current temperature is. Feels like 103. The heat index or the heat, how it actually feels on your skin will actually come down a little bit with this drier air, but the actual temperature goes up. So there you go. Feels like 113 or 114 degrees right now in Marathon 107 down in Key West. So time out the possible showers hour by hour. Friday, we still have a little bit of a southeasterly flow, at least early morning that will switch by the afternoon. So any rain that we do get again is going to be spotty. Some uh, scattered showers in the afternoon. This could be a little bit overdone for you, but that rain that we do get actually good because the next few days are going to be quite dry. Look how it switches though by Saturday. You go to the south southwesterly flow, so it tends to push the storms off to the east and northern areas. Broward County, Palm Beach County, you have the better chance to pick up any rain out of that at all. Dry Saharan dust moving in and thickening up for the weekend, and then it's going to sit here for a few days. That'll keep our rain chances down to about a 30% chance all the way through Monday. Pops up again by next week because our winds will be sh shifting back again to the southeast. We'll take a look at our forecast for the next few days. Temperatures topping out in the 90s. Very hot with only a slight chance for a shower. 
All right, Cindy, thank you. An emotional day for a South Florida family. They are getting closure after nearly a decade. Just moments ago, the state attorney held a press conference with the family of Lawrence Webb. The 32 year old died back in 2013 from her injuries. She was shot in the head by Tavon Graham at a nightclub. After a decade of delays, a judge ruled that Graham was guilty of first degree murder and received life without parole. It was times I did not go to bed because I stood up and I stayed up researching and just trusting God each and every way, knowing that this day was going to come, knowing that this day was going to come, that we were going to receive the justice that we well deserve. Law enforcement officials stress the importance of keeping the community safe. And if you see something, say something. There was a big winner in last night's billion dollar Powerball drawing. All the details when we return. Stay with us. Welcome back to CBS News Miami's 4 p.m. Quick Cast. Do you know anyone in Los Angeles, California? That is where a ticket matching all six winning Powerball numbers was sold. The winning ticket was sold in this mini mart in downtown Los Angeles. The jackpot is worth an estimated $1 billion. The store owner was taking it all in stride this morning. But you win as well because you own the store. Do you own Las Palmitas? Yes. That means you win. We think about a million dollars. I have to make a more business. <laughs> what will a million dollars mean for you and your family? I have to give you a vacation, something like that. <laughs> That is just incredible. Well, the ticket holder or holders will get to pick either a lump sum payment of more than $550 million or an annuity for $1.08 billion, and that's before taxes. The Mega Millions drawing is worth $720 million. The only place to watch it live is right here on CBS News Miami at 10:59, right before our 11 o'clock news, and best of luck to you. Well, now to an important health alert. Another case of malaria was reported in Florida this week. The Florida Department of Health says an additional case of locally acquired malaria was reported in Sarasota County. So far this year, there have been seven cases of malaria reported in the state. Miami-Dade County is under an alert. The CDC says these malaria cases are the first reported in the United States in the last 20 years. A federal judge in Miami has convicted a family of selling a fake COVID-19 cure through an online church. Mark Grinnan and his three sons were found guilty of the crime. Prosecutors say the family's Bradenton Church sold $1 million worth of their so-called miracle solution. It was pitched as a cure for 95% of known diseases. These charges carry up to five years in prison. They will be sentenced in October. Kayaking can be a fun way to spend some of your free time. The Broward County Parks Program offers a special kayaking program. CBS News Miami's photojournalist Adam Spunt gives us a look in this week's Miami Proud. This is so peaceful. Now left, right, left, right. Beautiful. Ah, oh, feels so good. I mean, aside from it being super hot outside, um, being in the shade of the, man of the mangroves and everything like that, it just the breeze, uh, being out in the water, sounds of the birds. Do you know what animal that is? What crab? I don't know what type of crab, no. It's a crab, though. That is now there's plenty. Yeah. Rachel, now I see them. Great. <laughs> your hand is not on the twig yeah. at the moment. Be careful with the mangroves on your right. I'm really excited to participate in these um, events or these activities to really, you know, give me peace of mind. Okay, we're gonna slow down because Wendy and Bob are in front of us. Yeah, we're out here just providing a special program. Experiencing to kayak in even though I'm legally blind and well, I'm legally deaf blind. Over a decade ago, lost my eyesight um, in both eyes, severe optic nerve atrophy, no real functional vision. Okay, so we have three kayaks ahead of us. We're gonna pass Jim. Okay, Rachel, we are on the go again. I'm gonna direct us. My visualization right now is, uh, is that it's, it's become very narrow. So I've lost my peripheral vision. I have a tunnel vision where I'm able to see things through a smaller amount of space. Where there is light, I can see, and it kind of allows me to see 
the um, these bushes or this you know the um, mangroves um, the mangroves right i'm i'm always aware of my surroundings listening to to what's near and, and whatnot but uh my uh, my guide Jenny, she's been uh, really awesome, just uh, telling me which way to go, which way to paddle when we're turning, when to turn, and just kind of move and stay in sync. Paddle right, right, right. Yeah, we row right. I mean, just bringing them out here to our you know county parks, um, having them enjoy the outdoors. Um, we pretty much guide them through the, through the whole process of you know the experience. Uh, we just communicate with them you know, let them know what's going on around. We're going through a small bridge here, under a bridge. Echoes. <laughs> uh, just the freedom and independence of doing something, um, f feeling like, I don't know, really just human again. It's given me so much uh, morale um, mentally and just, you know, a little bit of normalcy, you know? That is just fantastic. The adaptive kayaking program is for people who are blind or visually impaired. Broward County Parks offers a wide range of free programs that enhance physical and mental health through recreational therapy. If you would like more information, just go to our website. It is cbsmiami.com. The power of CBS News and the CBS News Miami stream are always at your fingertips. We're on Pluto TV and it's all free. Or you can find us on your favorite streaming device with the CBS News app, then click CBS News Miami. That's your quick cast. I'm Naja Sherman. Stay tuned for more news right here on CBS News Miami.